Hey, what's happening everybody? So today I want to do a little update video and just tell you guys what is going on because I haven't been uploading the same as I used to back a few months ago because I've just been so crazy busy that it's been tough for me to just put more time into YouTube and it sucks because I recently hit 29,000 subscribers. It's I can't believe it. It's it's amazing. It's so uh, mind-boggling. I never thought that I would reach a thousand subscribers, let alone now I'm at almost 30,000 subscribers. I'm still not even believing that. But it's you know all because of you guys. You guys enjoy what I do on my channel, so that's why it's happening. So thank you so much. I want to talk about a few different things in this video. It's going to be random as hell. I'm just going to talk about everything that's been going on with my most recent issue with YouTube, the stupid copyright problem that I had. So I don't know if you guys saw it, but I did a 360 degree horror film, short film, and I used a song in that video. I knew it was copyrighted. I knew that it was copyrighted. I reached out to the copyright owner. I asked them, I want to use this song. I need to license it. They told me that I need to go to this website, to their website, search for that song. Um, and the song wasn't there, so I just thought maybe I was talking to the wrong person. So I went ahead and just used the song in the video. Stupid idea. A few days later, after I uploaded it, I got a copyright claim on the video. And at that point, the video was getting um, 7,000 views a day. At this point, it's getting about the same. So it's pretty crazy. It's actually in the YouTube 360 degree playlist. It's like one of the top videos in the horror section. So that's so awesome that I was able to uh, get it there. So if you guys aren't sure what a copyright claim on a video means, it means that if you use content that is copyrighted in your video, that means the owner of that copyright can claim your video, the whole video, and say it's theirs. And they get 100% of the earnings from the video. It goes all to them. Any ad revenue that comes from that video goes directly to that person. So in that video, I use, let's say, let's just say that the, the song in that video was 20% of the whole production and the rest, 80% was mine. I created the video, I edited it, I came up with the story, uh, I did all the other work and then the song was 20%. Let's just say for the sake of this argument, that the song was 50% and the rest of the production, which I actually did, was 50%. Wouldn't it make sense for YouTube to split the revenue 50% with the song owner and 50% to me, since I put most of the work into the video? Now, I understand that's not how it works on YouTube. I'm, st I'm the idiot that went ahead and just used it for no reason. I love the song so much, I took the chance. So I get the claim, I'm talking to the you know, the people at the company to license this song. $400 to license this song. Long story short, the video was owned, technically owned by them for five days, which means five days worth of revenue from the ads went directly to the song owner and I missed out on those earnings. And like I said, it's getting 7,000 views a day, which is not bad but it took five days to clear the license after I paid $400 to license the song. Now get this, if I use the song twice in that one video, $800. Each time you use the song, it's $400. If I wanna use that song in another video, you have to pay another $400. So that song can only be used in that one video and <laughs> copyright sucks. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, let me change directions real quick. So I'm gonna be traveling a lot in the next two weeks. So this Friday, I'm gonna be flying out. I should be back Sunday. I plan on vlogging. Uh, I'm gonna try to edit while I'm there. So I'm gonna expect a vlog every single day like I did in Atlanta and Miami. Then I should be back on Sunday and then either Monday or Tuesday, I'm probably gonna fly out again and work on another project, which is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, so I think that covers travel, um, yeah. 
All right, we're switching gears again here. Like I said, this video is just so random, I'm talking about everything, but I wanna talk about this email that I got recently uh, from Theo, and hopefully you're okay with me reading this, but he said, since the last time when you checked out one of my older videos, I've been continuing and trying to make more and more good videos, and one of my big inspirations and sources for creativeness has been from your videos. He went on to say that you're growing a YouTube channel by passion and you are setting goals for yourself and that's incredible and so special. So please continue on making videos and you'll continue inspiring me and probably many others. Now he also talked about a video that he recently made which revolves around the idea of dreams, goals, and success. Now you know, we all have dreams, we all want something, we're all just shooting for that goal and want to be successful in everything we try. Achieving success is not the easiest thing. I'm not gonna lie and say, you know, everything I try, I'm successful, and it's not true. It's not true for anybody, but you know, if you wanna get to the point, let's say this is success up here, you have a bunch of different milestones you need to accomplish before you get there. So if you have your first milestone, you fail there, you need to accomplish this goal first, and then you can move on to the next step, and then you get closer and closer and closer until you get there. The problem is people don't wanna put the time in and do it because either they're lazy or they just don't care, I don't understand. But I've been recently watching this, uh, this guy, I'm sure you guys heard of him, Gary V. Uh, he puts out a bunch of YouTube videos. He's successful, he's like a millionaire. But anyway, there's this one clip that I saw and what he talked about pretty much resonates with this whole idea of uh, you know, success and working hard for it. It's not an easy task. And what another thing that resonated with me was he says what he calls is living for the weekend, which was completely me. I hated working Monday through Friday, but I would live for the weekend. I looked forward to the weekend, but now it's like, I look forward for the whole week because I'm doing what I love. But just check out this clip. I'm just hoping I don't get a copyright strike from Gary V. so sorry. Guys, I mean, looking around at all of us, just like for the six of us in this room, it's like 50% of your life. Like 50% of your entire life is predicated on what you do at work. Like, it's just a huge percentage of one's life. I can't wrap my head around with the internet. This is not your grandpappy's life. Yeah. We have the internet. You can make shit happen. You can build businesses or side hustles. I just don't understand why people relegate into losing mentality and just thinking they can't. You can't because you want to be on the bowling team or softball or play video games. That's why you can't. There's plenty of time, get shit done. And that last part was just so awesome. There's plenty of time, just get shit done. And I'm not gonna pretend I'm some successful person that knows it all. I'm still just a little guy, but what I can tell you is that I'm so much more happier that I actually went out and did exactly what I wanted to do. And I don't have to worry about some stupid nine to five crap job. And don't get me wrong, this can all change tomorrow, but I'm I'm not gonna give up. I failed so many times in the past, but I've never given up. All right, that got a little bit too serious, but uh, let's get to the next part. Anyway, yeah, just send me some snaps. I guess if you guys wanna be in this video, I'll put them in. If that sounds good, go ahead. Woo, that's bright. Let's start with this one. Oh. Hey, Jeremy. So being a Remove You Ambassador, is there any cool stuff coming out that we should know about anytime soon? The only thing that I know about that's coming out soon is the Removeview S1, uh, which is a gimbal, which I really, really need. I need a gimbal so I can get some awesome, smooth GoPro shots, but I think that's really the only new thing that they're gonna be coming out with. Hey man, I'm a 13 year old from Israel. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of your videos. Please put this in. This is Vmos, thank you so much. That means so much to me. Uh, let's check out the next Snapchat by Felix. Uh, hey, Jeremy. All right, dude, you asked for Snap, so I'm gonna Snap. Uh, thanks for the tutorial on 360 degree videos on YouTube. And hello from Liverpool, UK. Hey, what's up, dude? Glad you're finding those 360 degree tutorials helpful. All right, Saad Lowry. Hey, Jeremy, this is Saad. Um, I saw in your video that you have S6 or S7, whatever. Have you ever considered using your phone as your primary camera for? Yeah, actually, I never thought about, you know, using my phone, the S7, as my main camera. I don't know, I gotta do some tests and see how it looks out, looks how it looks, and maybe uh, I could try that. I need to get like a tripod attachment or something. But uh, let's check out the next one. Crap, I can't read it. Uh, what's up, Jeremy? Love your vlogs. Just bought myself a GoPro, thanks to you. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Let's check out the next one by Ian. <laughs> check out my YouTube. 
Here, if you can see that, check his YouTube out. But guys, thank you so much for sending those Snapchats. I really didn't think uh, I was gonna get that many. There's probably gonna be more coming in. But the other thing that I recently actually signed up on was uh, <laughs> Beam. I think it just came out on Android. So yeah, shout out to Casey Neistat for creating Beam. All right, guys, wait for it. Three, two, one. Anyway, I'm just happy that I did this video. I feel like it gets me more, it gets me back into this, so it gets me more motivated to make some more consistent content. But anyway, like I said, I'm gonna be traveling this weekend, so you can expect possibly a vlog this Saturday. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. And may the fourth be with you. Two more snaps just came in, so I didn't want to leave them out, so here you go. Columbia, I think. I think that's the Colombian flag. And this one. I want to be in your video. All right, guys, thanks a lot for all the snaps.